Now what you need to understand, so since we were looking at the high level definitions only, Hadoop has three major components. There is something called HDFS, there is something called YARN, third is called MapReduce. So when you download and install Hadoop, only Hadoop, these three things will come by default. HDFS, YARN and MapReduce, these three components will be uh, installed by default and you don't have to do anything they will get installed <laughs> right in this this guy is the storage this guy is handling storage okay this guy is resource management this is the resource manager this is processing HDFS stands for Hadoop Distributed File System. It's a file system actually. It is called Hadoop Distributed File System. I'll write it here probably. Hadoop Distributed File System. That is HDFS. First, let's look at this guy called HDFS. Yeah. So let's take a hypothetical situation where you have installed Hadoop in one master. Okay. And in my example, we have six slave machines. Now, this picture will uh, pose a lot of questions usually, okay, and that's okay. So, there is one master and six slave machines, and we are talking only about storage, no processing. The master will have a process called name node. The master machine will be running a process called a name node. When you install, it will start running this process called name node. Okay. The slaves will be running a process called data node. Data node. So I'll call it as data node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So technically we will say that there is one name node and six data nodes. I mean, that is how you say in a, in a Hadoop cluster, right? So name node is the storage master and data node is the storage slave. The next thing is that let's say you want to store a file in a Hadoop cluster. Hadoop does not care what you're storing. Meaning you can store any format. It can be XML, JSON, images, video. Hadoop doesn't really care what format of data you are storing. While processing, you have to make sense of the data. So that is in MapReduce. If I stored a text file, I have to write it in MapReduce that read this text file and do whatever I want to do. Okay, the HDFS file system does not really uh, bother about uh, what type of data you are storing. Second point and probably the most important point is that once you store any file, you cannot edit it. Modifications are not possible. You store it, delete it, that's it. In HDFS, modification is impossible. So why, you may be asking why it is not possible? Because HDFS is designed as a file system for handling huge amount of data, terabytes and petabytes amount of data, right? And if I want to modify or edit, you know, uh, row by row, like in a transaction that is happening, you know, it is not possible because if you look at a hard disk, right, there is something called seek time. If a hard disk want to fetch a record, there is something called seek time, right? And if I'm having one terabyte file, I want to edit the hundredth line, it's not possible for my hard disk to seek and get the data in that. If you're, because you're using all commodity machines here, they are not even faster. I'm not using solid state drives or anything, very commodity uh, level hardware I'm using here. So Hadoop's idea is that you want to read files sequentially. There is no random access. There is only sequential access. So if I store a file, I can read the entire file and process it. I cannot say needle in a haystack problem. Needle in a haystack problem, meaning if you have a 1 million row table, you cannot say take the 100th line and edit. Not possible in Hadoop, at least in Hadoop. It is impossible. So either you can read the whole data and process it. That's all you can do. And the result can be stored. Obviously, if you process the data, you get some result that can be stored. But on the file system, editing is not possible. 
that is appending is possible appending is always possible i have a file i want to append the data that's okay because you are just adding in the end but i'm just reading the 100 throw and edit that is not possible now you may be wondering what if i want to do it there is a solution you can do it you have mpp engines on top of hadoop which can do it i'll show you how to do it i mean it is possible but considering only hdfs ideally if you're storing a file and you you got some modifications in the file you delete it and restore the file meaning you don't edit it actually right you can delete the whole file delete is possible i am saying that minute edits are not possible because hadoop is considered to be a system where you are doing analysis of the data it is not transactional system where will your minute edits and all come oltp systems if i am having an rdbms i want to do insert update insert update it's not an rdbms right if you are an rdbms world it is possible i don't have any objection but here it is not possible by default and also we are not doing in a transactional it's not a real time transactional db right so i don't want to minutely edit also but worst case if i want to do it it is possible so we have mpp engines on hadoop which can do it actually so if i am storing a 1 tb file if i want to process the file probably i want to process only the 100th line i have to load the 1 tb into ram if if my if i am writing a group by query or an aggregate query right probably i need the whole data i have a very big table i am writing an aggregate query right which will say group by and order and something like that it makes sense i load the full file because i don't know where is the data whole data need to be scanned probably but if i am doing a select something something where name equal to something name equal to raghuraman only one line need to be processed for processing only one line why should i load the whole data so this is where customers are placing their order and and this data you don't want to change this data was created by customer I just want to get the data right probably i want to modify and get it so once it is here i don't want to make any changes i just want to analyze the data